Okay, that's cool. We basically changed the whole background music for this area. Very nice. Um, I don't think there's all that much else we can do here. For now, let's try and talk to the barman again. Excuse me. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like he doesn't like the music, so we can probably just grab his glass. Rip. Ha ha. Why does he have a jukebox in his own? Oh, come on, get out of the way, Babs. Talk to the barman. Come on. Excuse me. There we go. Where does the locked door lead to? Where does the locked door lead to? To the wine cellar. Hmm. Carlson's the only one who can open it. It's programmed to read his fingerprints. Okay then. Huh. Never mind. Never mind. If we were to just push that uh, glass against there, the fingerprints would be inverted. So we can't really do that. That wouldn't help. For now, just let's uh, leave here. I think there's uh, really not much we can do. But if you recall, there is one person in this city that could uh, help us get those fingerprints off the glass and actually onto our own fingers surgically. That's right. We're gonna have to go back to Burke's surgery. And hopefully if we give him the, that glass as a reference, he will get uh, us those same fingerprints. And we're gonna abuse the hell out of it. Hmm. Oh! The guy who was standing here is gone now. That's odd, but hey. Let's go meet Mr. Burke, or Dr. Burke, I suppose. Here we go. Hey, Burke, can you help us with something here? Excuse me. <clears throat> thanks, yeah, thanks again, again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. My headaches haven't been the same since. Um, yeah, this glass. Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh, yes. My machine will do that automatically. <laughs> it's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Yeah. Don't security use them to check people's identities? If Shush. They do, it's the first time I've heard of it. Okay, that's good. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Hmm. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? <laughs> oh, yes. Quite considerably. Goddamn. Well, okay. Put that in there. I'm amazed that he knows what all these things are. Okay, so it's analyzing CSI style. Oh, silent screaming. He's the man. Excuse me. <laughs> Is there anything we should know? Side effects? Anything? No. Okay then. Thanks again. It's a. Yep. Great. So now we have. Um... Colston's uh, fingerprints, the owner of the, the pub, or the bar, whatever. Club, I suppose you can call it. Um, which should allow us access into the storage area there. So let's uh, try and do that. It's a bit annoying that we have to go up and down and up and down, but sure, whatever. It's not that big of a city, even though you can see in the background that there's really much, much more to it. We can't explore that. Adventure game genre won't allow us. So yeah, go in there. 
And yeah, I did discuss earlier that um, this game is freeware, and, and I think it's really good that the, the developers uh, decided to do to, to release it as freeware after it's been on the market for a while. Uh, that's something game developers should consider when their games are Excuse more me. than a decade old. Oh, never mind. Never you can mind. just enter now. But there are, of course, other options, which is to to sell them digitally at low prices, which Excuse many, me. many... Ah, oh, goddammit, I didn't mean to do that. Which many sites tend to do now. Oh, yeah. Where does the locked door lead to? Oh, that's the wine cellar! Right. Okay, we're just gonna go in there then, and uh, we'll see what it has in store for us. Nope. Our fingerprints are better than yours, damn right, they're better than yours, are officially imprinted. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. You can see the tunnel continues this way. That's awesome. Um, packing case. What's this? It's a big box made of wood. Got wood? <laughs> That's too big and heavy to carry. Okay. What about this one then? It's made of thin chipboard. Hmm. Oh. Didn't mean to do the that. The box isn't strong enough to support me. Okay. Uh, can we perhaps break it apart or something? No. If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. I suppose. I can't reach it from here. Hmm. It's a solid wooden storage rack for wine bottles. Okay. Right. Let's look around here, I suppose. It's a big bu Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Hmm. I'd never shift that in a thousand years. Okay. So we have to get something to cover that so that it's more sturdy. We can stand on it. Let's try uh, breaking something off here, maybe? Aha! Uh -huh. Put that right here. Which should mean that we can stand on it now. Too dark <coughs> to see what's beyond the grill. Okay, let's remove that hindrance then. The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. <sighs> Our metal bar or crowbar is coming in real handy. Okay. The grill is too firmly at Alright. Hmm. That's interesting. No, okay. Well, I, I think I'm gonna leave you here and um, we'll figure out how to proceed from here next time. So long.